What's up, everybody? Leanne here from Bookton.com Appointment Scheduling, and I'm hanging out here with Edward Eddie Moroski, owner of Uptown Barbershop in Naples, Florida. Also, you might know him from his channel, YouTube Barber Academy. How's it going, Eddie? Oh, it's going good. It's going good. And a lot of people know me as uh, Mr. Eddie Barber. That was the channel's name like long before when I changed it. But a lot of people still know me for that. But it's it's going really well. We just hit 72,000 subscribers. And, you know, the shop is going really well, too. And, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's great to be here. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Yeah, thanks. So good to see you live in person, online, sort of uh, <laughs> in the flesh. <laughs> so yeah, today we're going to be doing a little bit of a case study on your shop and how Booked In helps you and your team get the job done. So yeah, before we dig in, Eddie, can you just tell me a little bit about how your shop got started? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, actually, like I wanted my own shop since I was like 15 years old. My whole family did hair and I just wanted it for a long time. And I just, I wound up kind of struggling to get it started. It, it was hard. I come from a very poor background, my parents and everybody, nobody has money. So really to make a long story short, I was actually in a factory only like two years ago. And I cut hair on the side also during this time, but for the, I tried to leave and it was miserable. Like I went every day with a pit in my stomach. And I was like, I got to get myself out of here, man. So I began reading business books and stuff like that. And I thought about the comeback and what I would do. And in literally the span of only two years, I found myself sitting at from 6,000 subscribers to 72,000 subscribers from basically no shop at all to finding the courage to leave that dead end job, know that it wasn't making me happy and find, you know, the, the courage to, to follow my dream with my shop. So we got started about a year ago. I officially took over last March and uh, this place has grown. It was like a sleepy old man's like kind of hangout. Uh, <laughs> it had carpet. I mean, it was, it was awful, but uh, I, I just pretty much totally made it my style and, you know, kind of came through with the logos and the uptown and all the stuff. And we, we uh, really revamped the place. It's all young barbers now and it's a really cool hit place. Oh, what a story just from that dream when you're 15 years old to now that's that's incredible just all of the you know inspiration that other barbers could take from that so that's awesome yeah. oh you should you should have heard I, I put it all on the line in my live the other night and uh it was a really well received live like i just i explained the whole story to try to help people who are in those dead-end situations find the courage to do something that makes you happy it, it doesn't have to be barbering, but it could be something that makes you happy, you know, and you're going to excel. Yeah. That pit in your stomach is how you know you're on the right track. You just know, right? <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> awesome. So I guess first question, what challenges were you experiencing at the shop that kind of led you to look for a solution like booked in? Well, this, this is i uh, I'm a long time walk-in barber. I mean, I did walk-ins forever and it was miserable. And the person that I worked for, they were dead set against doing appointments. They didn't want to do them. I rarely got a lunch. Um, I would, I was one of the, I was not one of the, I was the busiest barber in the shop. It wouldn't be uncommon for me to have five or six people waiting for me. And just knowing that I'm just overwhelmed and I feel like I need to rush and I just, I needed to bring some sanity to my situation. So I began kind of researching and looking into places and, you know, uh, I kind of found you guys and you guys had a great free version with a lot of features that was just reached. It was just very um, packed full of features. And I was able to kind of feel it out and see if I'd be able to use it. And uh, I can say that my customers have found this extremely, extremely easy. It is as straightforward as it gets. I mean, when um, I set up the whole thing, it was really a breeze. That's good. Yeah. When you hear from the clients as well, that's when you know you're onto something. So. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So when you were kind of doing your research, you were looking for that software to use for your appointments. What kind of made you choose booked in over like other products on the market, other options out there? Well, when I, when I started to look at them, um, one of the things that was definitely a draw was uh, needing that lunch break. And I found that you guys actually were able to separate my schedule. So now I'm able to block off a half hour 
permanently of my life. And if I want to take a client in there or something, that's my own business. But for the most part, I'm able to actually eat lunch, get away from the shop for a few minutes, kind of recuperate and come back. And that was super important to me. And I didn't like how some of these other apps, they use this like review feature. And then the moment you're gone, you lose all your reviews. So all the progress you made, it becomes like a bad marriage. You just can't separate from. And if you train all your clients into one thing, it can be an enormous task to try to get them to go with another thing. And you, you don't want to, you don't want to start with the wrong thing. You want to definitely start on the right foot. And that's why I was pretty happy that I found this because my customers took to it very easy. And, you know, I haven't had any real issues or anything. And it's, it's been really smooth and my team too, like just to, just to highlight that side of it too, because I had to go back and train my team, but there was really not much to be done because it was so straightforward. They were all like, okay, cool. I had a Zoom, <laughs> I had a Zoom meeting with them and we talked about it for about four minutes and they were like, oh, okay, I, I see how it works. <laughs> so that was that, you know, and it's nice getting the notifications and they send the notifications off to the customer so you don't have to worry uh, that they're not going to show up. And I can say based on some of the other options I used before this, it, it is, um, it, it's, it's so much easier for them and they have had way less issues. They don't have to download apps. They don't have to go through a bunch of rigmarole. I got a lot of old clients. I don't need mm. that. You know, I, I need it to be just an easy process. And that's definitely what I found with, with Bookman. Well, awesome. Yeah. The clients being able to book online and yeah, the easiness factor of it is, is definitely huge because that's what it's all about, right? The clients get them in the door, serve them and, and just you know, do it without any rigmarole. I love that word. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah. And, and, and having the time for the clients and not feeling rushed, uh, that's just brought a very good feeling to me. Like, a, and it's helping me with my creativity. It's helping me with my, my comfort. It's not nice to cut hair with a thousand people breathing down your neck, looking at you like, God, I've been here three hours. Why am I still here? Like, it's so nice to just be on track, take a customer, get rid of a customer, especially with the new situation we're all dealing with. Uh, it's so nice to not have, and, and I have six barbers. So if we were walking, just theoretically speaking, what if everybody had two or three people waiting for them? It yeah. wouldn't be long before the, the entire shop was just packed full of people. And that would just not be good right now. So everybody mm -hmm. comes in, goes, comes, goes, and it's been smooth as silk. Well, that's good. Yeah, the safety factor too with what we're all dealing with right now, you know, maybe it's going to change, maybe it'll loosen up soon. And it's, it's really just the safety, right? So that's Absolutely. good that it's helping with that too. Yeah. Um, so business wise, you know, you started using booked in. Is there some kind of uh, like specific improvement that you've seen? You talked a lot about, you know, how it's helping, but for example, was there more time or more clients or more money? Is there like one specific thing you would say it helped to improve? There is definitely one. Um, I have noticed that when I, when I tried the, the previous app, I noticed that I was getting a lot of people who were no-showing me. And mm -hmm. I think that this booked in the way that they notify the customers has pretty much it prevents that. I actually had one no-show since I've been using it, it was a no call, no show. And I just sent him a nice text message to just say, Hey, if next time you want to book with me, please save me a little bit of time. And he actually felt so bad. He paid me through Venmo. So Aww. I'm getting paid for that service anyways. <laughs> and it, it all worked out nice. I actually had a walk in come in and it was like nothing ever happened, but I, I just love the fact that they're sending out those notifications and they're not letting people like forget. So, you know, if you are, wise you usually will you know have your clients book maybe you know far enough ahead and maybe even before they leave the shop for some of your older clients it's nice to just tell them hey do you want me to book it for you real quick just before you go that way you know that they're coming back and it's going to send them a message and they're going to know it's time for a haircut 7 a.m tomorrow or 7 a.m in three weeks from now they'll get that notification and they'll show up mm, yeah that's one thing too with um as they're about to leave the rebooking process uh something a lot of people forget and and i feel like it the app might help with that so that's and the repeat that's, bookings too like that's that's what i'm i'm always preaching to my staff the the feature that you guys have for the repeat booking and especially it's 
it's it's great because it's unlimited like with with the other apps there was an option for like weekly there was an option for like bi-weekly but there wasn't an option to like customize it and i was frustrated with that because not everybody comes not everybody comes every three weeks or four weeks but like somebody he's like hey i like to come on the second friday of the month you can literally customize that repeat however you want so i'm driving my staff to to do the repeat appointments is for as many people as you can, because you will be booked solid. You know, I'm booked solid almost every single day. And if I'm not booked solid before I get there more often than not, I share two posts on Instagram and it's booked again. So it's working really well with the repeat um, appointments. That's awesome. Yeah. That was a, a brand new feature we just launched this year. And that's awesome feedback just to know that it's helping your business and Absolutely. Your, your staff too. That's awesome. So last question, this is something I ask all the time. What just thinking of other barbershops out there, you know, the other eddies of the world who are like watching <laughs> your channel or you know, building their dream shop. What would you say to them, you know, someone who is experiencing the similar challenges you had like before booked in, what would you tell them now if you were able to, to tell them one thing? I would tell them that you need to plan your work and work your plan. You have to create this mind state where you're just not going to take no for an answer. I didn't have the money. I didn't have the resources. I didn't, I, I, there were so many things that I could have just used as an excuse to hold me back because in reality, that's what it would have been, but I knew this was right. So whoever or whatever the challenge is in your life, you, you got to try to dig down and find that courage. Now don't just go leaping off a bridge. That's why I'm saying just read some books, educate yourself, prepare yourself, make a plan and then follow it and you'll get there. You know, I accomplished more in the span of a single year than I ever have throughout the entire time I've been barbering, which I'm coming up on my 18th year. So how is it that I was able to do that in one year? It was because I wanted it more than anything in the world. And I pushed myself to figure out how to do it. There's so many ways to negotiate. There's ways to get your own shop and you just got to be patient, dig in, educate yourself and you'll get it. You will get it. Yeah. Amen. That's such good advice. And yeah, I think a lot of barbers everywhere could look up to you in that way and just, yeah, just be inspired and, and not ignore that feeling in their gut that they have like deep down, or maybe they're halfway through the process and wanting to give up and just go back to the day job. Right. It's yeah. Yeah. yeah it's scary. And it, if you do that, you're going to get trapped in the rat race. And most of us are just creative souls and we need to express our art in some way and being, you know, on an assembly line or just being in some place that's not making you happy. is just, it's just soul crushing and you don't want that. Like you will excel at what you're passionate about it. That's what I tell people. It doesn't have to be uh, any particular thing. It's whatever you're passionate about, you're going to perform that well and it's not going to feel like work. Yeah. What's the old saying? Uh, work, do work the thing you love, <laughs> do a thing yeah. you love and you'll never work a day again. It's true. It's true. I'm living proof, man. I'm living proof. <laughs> that's amazing. So that's it. Thank you so much. Do you have anything else you want to add here before we jump off? No, you're, you're uh, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to come check out my channel, uh, YouTube Barber Academy, we got plenty of tutorials. We go live every Saturday at 8 PM. We just, I'm a really, I'm really focused on actually teaching it's a channel that's using, you know, we're using it as like a resource. We, this is a resource for you. Anything that you want to learn about in barbering, I'm sure I've done more than 10 videos about it. So stop by and check us out. Awesome. Yeah. We'll add a link below to Eddie's channel and uh, yeah. Thanks so much for talking with me today and yeah, just sharing your experience with booked in. So thanks. Eddie. <laughs> that was awesome. See ya. <laughs> Bye.